was all such a long time ago. I can hardly remember any of it. I remember the look on their faces. I remember the screams. I remember their wide, wide eyes. As if they had just seen. Well, as if they had just seen their son draw a knife on them. I'm not insane. <laughs> Yeah, but then again, I guess they all say that, uh, I was just so angry at them for doing nothing. I left my brother alive. Oh, he's some big shot police officer, some detective now. He's looking for me. He wants to find me bad. Oh, it's too bad I don't want to be found. Tis the point of being a murderer, serial killer on the run. My mom and dad, they'd always been the religious sort. Now you can imagine their surprise when I came back from the war from Iraq. Scars on my face. Uh, looking like some kind of demon. And they... <laughs> They sure told me. They sure told me I look like one. Yeah. They disowned me real fast. Real quick. I left Lou alive because, so, despite everything, he still treated me like I was his big brother. turned out to be. I guess it just goes to show that in a bucket of apples there's some good ones and then, well, there are apples like me. I prefer a knife, though. Knives are better than guns. I spent a long time using them on the battlefield. A long time people shooting them at me and the sharpness of a knife, it felt more personal. It felt right to me. And now, not only do I have to please on my ass, I have. Uh, <coughs> I have, uh. This cult after me, a bunch of proxies, and this tall fucker. I'll see how it goes. I don't know why. I make this. No one's gonna watch him. Maybe I'll uh, upload him to YouTube. Come on. An overnight celebrity. <laughs> yeah, that's an idea. Well, I guess that's our time. Nice talking to you. You're a good listener. <laughs> I'll see you around.